Okay, guys, some very interesting and rather revealing developments on the Democratic side. So, of course, the Democratic Party um, and many other people, by the way, very upset about the leaked draft that appears to uh, overturn Roe versus Wade, Wade that's going to be imminently decided by the Supreme Court. Literally the day after this decision leaks, Jim Clyburn, one of the most powerful Democrats in the House and really in the country, decides to fly down to Texas to campaign on behalf of one of the last anti-abortion Democratic lawmakers, Henry Cuellar, who is facing a very tough primary opponent from the left, Jessica Cisneros. Let's go ahead and throw this tweet up on the screen from Ryan Grimm. He says, Clyburn planning to rally with the party's staunchest foe of abortion rights, the Pelosi-backed Henry Cuellar, because this is all a game of ego to them at this point. Sure enough, he was there. There's a video of him speaking at a rally. And I mean, it really just exposes like what a bunch of liars they are when it comes to what they actually care about. And you know, they're happy to use this language, existential language, apocalyptic language, promise that they're the real you know, supporters of women's rights. And yet you have a candidate in this race who actually supports those things in Jessica Cisneros. And not only are you not backing her, you are actively trying to defeat her. Um, this is a relatively blue district too. So it's not like, you know, this is really, oh, they could make the argument like, oh, if we nominate this lefty person, the district is going to fall. And the district looks like it's fairly safe for Democrats ultimately. So this is all just about making sure they get their buddy who's going to take the right vote when it comes to who will hold leadership positions. That's all they really ultimately care about here. Also worth noting, um, this is a rematch. Last time around, Cisneros came very close to winning the Democratic primary. Um, in the runoff, Cuellar received 48.4%. Cisneros had 46.9%. Then Cuellar won outright in the runoff, uh, defeating her by just a couple of percentage points. So it was really quite close last time around. Uh, we'll see. This election is just coming up next week, I believe. Um, we'll see if ultimately the politics of Roe put Jessica over the top this time when she wasn't able to get it done last time. Yeah, there's no way to know, obviously, right? Oh, so, one other thing oh. also, Cuellar's under FBI investigation. That, by yeah, the way, say, by the way. I was going to say, there's no way to know. <laughs> that being said, Cuellar actually is under FBI investigation right now. Uh, it's I think it's unclear exactly why. It's a, what is it, a quasi-bribery type scandal in terms of campaign finance. Anyway, uh, I don't want the lawyers to come after me. He is definitely under FBI investigation right ahead of the election, which, you know, the FBI generally does not do that unless it is something which is pretty important. As you said, Pelosi, let's put that up there on the screen, affirmed her support for Cuellar after the FBI raid, mm. saying, I support my incumbents. That nice? That's what I do. Mm. Interesting, Crystal. Yeah, very, I mean, like I said, the one thing they really care about is that he's going to make the right vote uh, in yeah. their opinion when it comes to who remains speaker, or who remains in the top leadership positions. They know that he'll be a reliable vote for them when it comes to those core interests. So it's, it's quite revealing. Um, the last piece that our producer James pulled for us here is just, you know, this is a, a heavily majority Latino district, and obviously Latinos have been moving away from the Democratic Party. There was an Ipsos, Axios Ipsos poll that basically found that a lot of Latino Americans just feel like both of the parties completely sort of take them for granted and, you know, don't really do much to actually understand and deliver for them in terms of the issues that they care about, which I think is, is certainly the case and um, certainly likely to be the case in this district as well. So we'll see how it all plays out. But again, Again, just in case you were wondering how sincere Democrats are on these issues, they care more about using the issues for votes and power, just like the Republicans, by the way, than they do actually delivering. And if you had any doubt about that, their uh, desire and willingness to line up behind Henry Cuellar, travel to his district to rally for him before his election, literally the day after this leaked decision comes out, tells you everything you need to know. There you go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. More for you later. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.